Black Eye TV. Thanks for joining us, dude. Oh, oh I'm the special guest. Okay. Yeah, hey, you're hey. special. You're a fucking oh, special guest. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. I feel special. Why don't you tell people a little bit about your channel? Much like a lot of you guys talk about idiots online and, and other things like crackheads and anti-maskers. And <laughs> Lately, I've been talking about G-Man and one of his uh, simps that's just out there defending them, like out there in the front lines, you know, I guess kind of like drag, but I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not as uh, articulate as him and I curse a lot more. So, you know what's yeah. the craziest thing about that to me is, but no, <laughs> no G-Man's G -Man got real fans. On his main channel? Yeah. He did a video, like I think a week ago about Black Hebrew Israelites. He got 2.2 thousand of views on it what the fuck yes when he talks about black hebrew israelite when he t sticks to the religious stuff oh yeah he gets views on it i don't know why he doesn't just stick to that but he always has to come battle the atheists and get embarrassed he feels like it's his duty to like attack any especially any black atheist i've noticed oh, yeah. but like yep. atheists in general he's like you fucking atheists dude mm -hmm. just chill live and let live dude i'm not out there being like oh you fucking christians can't believe christians still believe in god that's the funny thing even though he has 13k subs and gets like a fraction of the actual you know <laughs> he's a bunch of dead subs but he actually has fans on there it's crazy like that's, and, that's and, pretty sad yeah. and this guy he comes from that channel because we can tell he doesn't know a lot about the atheist stuff that he does so i already know that there's been a thumbnail for the longest fucking time and it's gonna have to be a new thumbnail because i've changed my avatar since it's been me versus war corpse we we're supposed to do this shit months and months ago dude <laughs> you send you a dude on a video giving you the terms no reply i got a bunch of replies from your dumbass fans so come back to me when are we gonna have this live discussion i'd love to beat your ass in a debate you keep saying it's gonna be the other way around so come prove it to me and with that i think that we should watch a uh, war corpse's most viewed video video you, you're familiar with this guy lord of patriarchy right yeah i used to watch him on dp he's he's been getting into some spats with not only us but also the dudes from the geek room recently like they've been covering him quite a bit and uh, he's not too happy about it i initially wasn't gonna do this story but it kind of intrigued me because this video is so funny that i'm like fuck it i gotta do it that straight pride parade that was held a little while ago a couple of weeks ago in boston and of course antifa had to show up and do what they normally do of course they were arrested what happened what happens next is hysterical. So just for context, this happened one year ago. Um. <laughs> oh, I see he has the whiteboard up, by the way. He makes a very in interesting point here that's hypocritical of what he says later down months down the line. So that's kind of why I wanted to bring a highlight on it. Uh, let's continue. Okay. Six o'clock, dozens of people arrested during the straight pride parade in Boston faced a judge today, and that judge did not hold back. WBZ's Christina Rex was in the courtroom where many protesters were actually hauled away in handcuffs. Good. About time we start arresting Antifa. <laughs> okay, okay. You, you know what I'm going to say, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> this, is, this is the exact opposite rhetoric. He agrees with the protesters in January. He doesn't agree with these protesters. So obviously. But if you have any backbone or nuance, you shouldn't look at it any differently. You know what I've noticed? Everybody that commits the heinous acts is always anti for everybody else is the, the right wing. You know, right. like what the fuck? Like, oh, they tried to kidnap this, uh, this governor. That was anti for. Come on, man. January 6th. Yeah, the, the yep. Capitol riot. They were trying to blame them for that. Like, are there some shitty people who have joined Antifa just to fucking cause violence? Sure. But why is it that whenever the fucking right wing does something, it's, no, this is our core message. This is what we're trying to do. We are trying to overthrow democracy. We are going to take the fucking Capitol building. I'm sorry, there's a big fucking difference here. There is nuance to be had here. I, I will say this. You can look at these instances differently and judge them differently, and I do. Most of these people were out there, they were promoting equality and shit, and some people fucking acted out. This shit on the 6th was was to fucking overthrow the fucking democratically elected president of this country, okay? You gotta use fucking nuance, and this motherfucker doesn't. Completely partisan. Oh, these people agree with me, so, uh, yeah, they're good. These people don't, so fuck them. Six people. No, this is not what straight Brian has done to us, you fucking retard. This is what you chose to do. You weren't allowed to peacefully protest. What you're not allowed to do Sorry, guys, is I'm break back. shit and beat the fuck out of people. You shouldn't be allowed to break shit and beat the fuck out of people. And by the way, if there are people who infiltrate Antifa or BLM or whatever, I want to see those people arrested. Unlike some people out there, I think optics is important. And I don't want those type of people to be repping the same ideologies that I am because I think it's damaging to those ideologies and it makes it harder for us to be fucking taken seriously. None of his people ever do anything wrong. Those are patriots. The ones that are doing bad are the, you know, the, the spies. Wow. Antifa. On his side, love America. People who do yeah. on the opposite side you know, hate America. I, I think the left America. needs to start co-opting that. Call ourselves patriots. Yeah. You know, anytime a lefty burns down a building or whatever, or a perceived lefty burns down a building, we're just like, whoa, 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 what, what? 
They were patriots. I'm going to be burning down buildings because I love this yeah. country. I love this country. Burn it to I'm, the ground, you know? Burn it to the ground, build, build it up better. Oh, God. I'm not actually yeah, advocating for that, by the way. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. On cash bail or without bail. <laughs> oh, wow. Boy, that look on that kid's face. The first time he realizes mommy can't save him this time. By a Boston judge. Is now I drunk? would say daddy. Uh, he's oh, always he's always, <laughs> he's always. <laughs> exactly. Let's be honest. He don't know who his daddy is. What, what are you even saying? Like, oh, he's on the left. So of course he doesn't know who his daddy is. What? Oh, oh Jesus he's a, Christ. He's a fucking idiot, huh? <laughs> he really yeah. is. As they had already been arrested and released by Boston police over the weekend. Yeah, but being arrested and released is not the end of the process. You still have to go to trial. <laughs> Like, I mean, He's gonna comment on the colored hair girl, isn't he? Something that's one thing. That's you still have a trial date, believe it or not, if you want to fight in court. Arrested. There were eight the blue hair brigade is there. He's I called it. I called that shit. Oh my god. Today, a handful are charged with assaulting. Oh boy, that dude has long hair. He can't get out of jail. He kind of looks like you. Gonna... you <laughs> yeah, he hair. does. <laughs> Yeah, if he was just a little bit more unkempt and uh, drunk and uh, was was balding a little more like you are, like yeah, he he'd be your spitting image, dude. No, no, he's like TJ's clone if it wasn't botched. That's what it is. <laughs> Didn't they call him Booger Corpse or something like that? I've never heard of that before, but it's pretty appropriate. <laughs> gonna turn into pigtails, and you know what pigtails turn into? A Christian War Police. Corpse. Yeah, dude. handlebars in the shower. <laughs> Saturday. You just made her joke about prison rape. That's not funny. You can make a joke about most things, but like that wasn't funny. So fuck you. Right. At least be funny if you're going to be offensive. That's 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 my rule. Others His are charged with disorder. <laughs> oh my god! Boy, we got a fucking winner there. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm Where is this? Face, I'm sure if War Corp shaved the same fucking chin. Probably. <laughs> this dude's chin. Yeah, this dude needs Stop a beard. Drink. Stop eating yeah. soy. You might grow your oh my god. Always with the soy thing. That's another thing I fucking noticed about War Corp is when he was talking about the geek room for, you know, an hour and 45 minutes on his response stream. The only thing that he consistently brought up is like, oh, it's four fucking soy boys because Anna wasn't there. It was um scientist Sam who was there instead. What if Drag was on that stream or what if <laughs> Mrs. Park was on that stream? Then he would have literally no argument to make. Oh yeah, he's been on here before too. Yeah, hey, he's been on here. You're a fat, balding piece of shit. We might be having a having a debate with him sometime soon. So Ooh. stay tuned for that. You oh know what's God. funny? I know vegans that eat soy that work out would beat the ever loving shit out. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, like vegan gains. Do you want to watch some more of this? No. No. <laughs> let's uh, let's move. Let's <laughs> I'm move down. On. Shit. Yeah, we okay. got some other dumb fucks to look at. Um, Hopefully they're not drunk. You know, speaking of, <laughs> let me start. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, actually, let me grab a beer. Can I grab a beer real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll be right back. Fuck yeah. yeah.